This is Lori Pipkins coming to you from Love Legacy. This is the month of October and it is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So today I will be sharing with you some words of encouragement for those who are struggling with domestic violence, whether it's verbally, physically, mentally, emotionally, Financially, there's so many areas, but it is still violence. It's still abuse. I wanted to let you know that God created all of us for great purpose. And when he created us, he didn't create us in vain. He didn't create us reluctantly. Everything that God created, it says in Genesis, it was good. He created you, if you were a woman, as a suitable helper. That doesn't mean that you're less than. It doesn't mean that you're behind a man. It means that you're in equal status with a man. You were made from the rib of a man. But you were created as a suitable helpmate. That means that you work hand in hand together. But you both are considered just as valuable as he, as the other one. There's another scripture that really helped me when I was struggling in the time of me being in the, uh, a domestic violent situation for many years of marriage and I had three daughters and what was important for them to know is that they were valuable and what at that time I was struggling with my own self-worth and value before I even came into the marriage but there is a scripture in Psalms 139 and 14 that talked about what my value was. So I started to search the scriptures and to put very um, important scriptures that meant a lot to me, that helped me to change my thinking about myself um, on a 3 by 5 or four by six index card. So the scripture that I first started writing was Psalms 139 and 14. It says, you are fearfully, King James Version, and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy works. Think about it, fearfully. There was no reluctance in me being created. It was intentional. Wonderfully made. That means it was so great. Fabulous. That's another word I use for myself. I was fabulously made. Marvelous are thy works. When God finished creating you, and me, he sat back and he said, mm, I did an awesome thing. And there's no one else like him, her, or me talking about myself. So I did a great thing. So my works are marvelous. Just imagine when God thinks about you, he said, hmm, I broke the mold when I made her. I broke the mold when I made him. So when you know your father, your heavenly father talks about you and thinks about you that way, then you hold your head up because you don't have self-esteem only then. You have Christ's esteem because there's father, son, 
Holy Spirit. They are triune God. That means three in one. So when Jesus came, he died for our sins. It gave us an opportunity to have eternal life and to get a second chance because his grace is what saved us. And it's not by what, how many good things we do or wonderful things we do. But when we recognize that we need him, then that's the beginning of our lives changing. But you have to first recognize that he is your father. So we are fearfully, wonderfully made. And then God's works were truly marvelous. And we know that. So when you know that, you walk with your head up high. Not I'm talking about prideful, but I'm saying not self-doubting yourself. Uh, thinking of yourself less than and everyone else is better than you. God created all man equal. So with that, another thing that we need to also understand is you treat people the way you want to be treated. The word of God also has a scripture where it says you love your neighbor as you love yourself. And people who abuse others really don't love themselves. So you have to look at it at a perspective of forgiveness and say, wow, they're treating me this way because they don't care much about their own selves. And sometimes if you have to put someone else down to make yourself feel good, then you don't care about you. You're struggling with your own self-value. And the only way you could feel good about you is to put other people down. But that is not the right way. So I encourage you also to surround yourself with people who are positive, people who will affirm you, people who will celebrate you, and you celebrate them. And we all lift each other up together. Because we win together, not apart. We all win when we help each other. So I hope that these few words today will help you as you move forward in discovering who you are and embracing that and walking with your head held high, knowing that each day, will get better and better. So don't give up. Hope. Keep pushing forward because better days are ahead of you. God bless you. So I'll say a little prayer with you. Father, I thank you for my friends that have listened to this recording. Listen to these words of encouragement. I pray that you would help them to move forward. Help them to realize their value. Help them to realize that you love them. And that you, that they matter to you. I pray, Father, that you would keep them in peace. I pray, Father, that you would keep them safe. I pray, Father, that you would send, put a hedge of protection around them and their children and their family members. And that you would bring people to their rescue. I pray, Father, for those who are looking for housing, jobs, um, counseling. I pray, Father, that those who are depressed, that you lift them up and give them peace. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think of the episode. And always remember to lift your voice effectively. Until next time, have a great day.